Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, good afternoon, madam. So I think you missed the introduction, so I'll probably do it again. You see, you, you, this is the beauty of uh, online, because nobody is knowing to each other, but we have finalized many things. Yes, sir. Yeah, so please. I'll just reintroduce you. Please, please. So a very good afternoon to one and all. Uh, so I welcome our guest speaker for the day, Professor Satendra Kumar. So I'm Dr. Gitanshu, convener for the IIC of uh, TMU Muradabad, and I extend a warm welcome to sir. So uh, I take immense pleasure in introducing our meritorious guest speaker for today. So uh, sir is the general manager, TBI KIET, and dean innovation and entrepreneurship. Sir has more than 27 years of experience in teaching, consultancy in the field of entrepreneurship. business development and incubation he has mentored more than 1000 startups and is currently mentoring 40 startups he is also the course director of department of personnel and training government of india he has also been nominated by government of uh, uttar pradesh as a mentor under startup policy from 2017 to 2022 he is also a member of incubation committee formed by rajasthan government and member of curriculum committee formed by cbsc board on entrepreneurship he is also a governing uh, board member of the indian science and technology mm -hmm. entrepreneurship yeah. park and business incubators association niti ayog government of india has nominated him as mentor for change under atal innovation mission tinkering lab to the kdb public school kavinagar ghaziabad sir has also participated as manager team india and jury to the second inompics held at the university of kuala lumpur malaysia in september to october 2018 also he was the chairman of the third inompics in 2019 he has also co-authored many entrepreneurship books for diploma students sir has one patent and one copyright and we are very appreciative and thankful to sir for conducting this session on the national innovation and startup policy now i kindly request sir to commence the session thank you uh, dr gitanshu indeed it is my pleasure uh, to share about this new innovation policy because it is in my passionate area about the startups and innovation it is always i love to share because i am working from last many years and uh, i have given uh, many sessions on this nisp and not in only in uttar pradesh but out of uttar pradesh also uh, various other universities and uh, nits also uh, so before uh, coming to the national innovation policy i would like to uh, uh, thanks to dr gitanshu that uh, making this program a very beautifully designing all the posters everything collaterals and i my 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 best appreciations for uh, dr gitanshu Thank for you, making sir. this event uh, going to be a uh, more informative because certainly i will be sharing about the innovation policy uh, hello. Hello. hello 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 yes has been framed has been framed by the uh, government of uh, uh, india that is a uh, Uh, AICT and uh, Ministry of Education. Now it becomes our Ministry of Education. Earlier it was a MHRD. So, uh, sir, coming directly to the your uh, topic here, because uh, you see, there's a two words: innovation and startup. Innovations leads towards the startup, and innovation basically means when you are anybody is giving solution to any problem is called innovation. And uh, when the innovation is going to convert in a startup, then uh, it becomes your own baby. It becomes your enterprise where you run. and it started basically it is a new world earlier people were knowing about the industry only that is it was a asked to be a, a transfer of technology or you can say it is it is a relation related to the uh, what you call fame but now everything has been changed and now anybody who is over is getting a good to be mentor to be what you call to be guided by the experts he or she may convert his own uh, business also and also very and also can you meet can you meet mr himanshu and uh, vikas others because uh, this, there is a eco is there uh, second uh, very important things which i would like to share that india is now uh, growing very fast in the area of innovation and uh, this year are the global innovation index now we are at 48 number we are the youngest country because we have the students here also so that's why i am sharing this one and you see this is only because of the young minds like our students right now with us and we have a mentor like you so there is a there is a what you call gurukul pratha and the, because of the gurukul the mentors are there and mentors are giving mentor me, to mentoring the mentees also 
and in that case uh, mentees are coming with a very new and innovative idea that's why uh, many new technologies has been developed in india and uh, the prime minister also talking about various uh, things like atmanirbhar bharat and vocal for local more innovations more startups uh, on 16th he again after 5 years completion of a startup policy uh, he again delivered the session and you see this is a beauty because there is a two difference uh, in the case of becoming your own launching your own startup uh because you are going to be you are going to be own boss your own boss your company boss second also you can pass on your legacy to your son but in a case of a employee like me or others i am a, i am a general manager i am a head of the institution if i want to pass on my legacy to my son i can't do it but suppose it was my own baby it was my own enterprise in that it was possible where i can pass on my legacy to my son also like dhiru bhai ambani has passed legacy to his mukesh ambani and mukesh ambani now is passed it to anant and other his son akash also and that is a beauty and that's why every you uh, the this enterprising countries or the grown countries uh, developed countries they are they have the more numbers of startups the more numbers of enterprises also and very second is very important that they play very vital role in the country's growth in economic growth and that is called gdp gross domestic product in that case uh, you see this is a role of enterprises also more number of enterprises more number of uh, consumables more number of productions more numbers of earning more numbers of liquidity and more opportunities are also uh, increasing the gdp so uh, this is the basic i was i was trying to give you the uh, the, uh, the what we call the behind the whole uh, picture why this nisp policy has been framed why government is insisting all the institutions to establish iic and also move towards nisp second very important for launching an isp you see the every college has got the own uh, own uh, what you call uh, motto also and motto is uh, creating more number of students inviting more number of students and then asking them to go for the job in fact because the majority <laughs> uh, they are from the middle income group and their family's passion their family's uh, mission or their family's uh, objective is also to uh, for job in fact so they always ask their son to go for the job but i tell you in the my college and kite college i am located i am basically on deputation from up government here so you see uh, here a good number of students have come came out with their idea and we have mentored them many startups now their turnover is around you can't imagine total investment is going 1200 crores he is a pass out of this college he has been placed in a wipro and left the job and started his own career and very small things they came out that is how to memorize stuff as english words which are commonly used in cat and mat examination and then he start giving the pdp and now he has got the he, he is basically a master franchisee of a burger king kazo global desi and many other things similarly many other startups also many startups they have started their own enterprise in a usa in a singapore also these are all from this college so there will be there will be a mix of uh, students you can say and when any college is called uh, enterprising any university is called enterprising when the more number of students are coming with the idea and they are developing their startups in fact so this is a basic need of any institutions if you go back in a log in a bc 2000 saal pehle jaiye 5000 saal pehle jaiye that's why india was known for that and that time it was there basically everybody was talking about the enterprising or the agriculture isliye kaha gaya hai uttam kheti madhyam ba niri chakri matlab jo aadmi naukri karta hai usko kehte hain sabse bekar hai और जो उत्तम खेती कहा जाता था मध्यम बान का है बान मतलब व्यापार कहा जाता था सो दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट और ये कंट्री को करना पड़ेगा अगर हमको ग्रो करना है वी वांट टू मूव फास्ट वी वांट टू बिकम डेवलप्ड कंट्रीज सो वी हैव टू डू इट एंड फॉर दैट रियली व्हाट इज रिक्वायर्ड द मोर नंबर ऑफ एंटरप्राइजेस नो डाउट देयर इज एक्लिब्रियम इज आल्सो रिक्वायर्ड बिटवीन बोथ बिकॉज़ इफ एवरीबॉडी इज रनिंग फॉर द जॉब देन देयर विल बी अ इंबैलेंस एंड एवरीबॉडी इज रनिंग फॉर दिस स्टार्टअप देयर इज देयर विल बी इंबैलेंस सो वी हैव टू क्रिएट अ बैलेंस बिटवीन बोथ now coming over to the nisp policy which has been launched which has been launched by the uh, government of india and for that dr gitanshu has invited me uh, so it was it was just to giving a what you call a cut and laser or a prologue i was just uh, showing the basis of uh, why nisp is very important you see uh, you see nisp uh, national innovation in startup policy as it is named here and every institution every college every university they have to create their own innovation in startup policy like we have created our own innovation in startup policy on the basis it was it was a broader uh, parameter on this parameter we have fixed one is it my slide is visible hello madam my slide is visible 
Yes, sir. Yeah, please. Now I'm coming. So you see, uh, this is basically every university has to develop, and this is going to be a change maker. As you see, uh, this is going to be a uh, what you call a, a game changer, and game changer in the sense of uh, in the sense of universities functionality also. Investees also earning a more number of mobilization fund also, and also making students more uh, what you call self reliant. Uh, they are launching their own enterprise, and this is going to also going to give a big mileage to the university also. Because you see, everybody has got the the balance is required. University they look for the good number of students to to be admitted, and then second also the students also look for the good institution. Where they can be placed properly, or they can be not only placed, they can be also mentored properly, so they can they can lead their life. This is why I said, "Education is not only education. Education means where we we teach not only for the education part, we also teach them what is the application part of that. Your what you have learned. So this whole policy is based on that, and a policy has got the many components like you see, and components like uh, Smart India Hackathon, Institution Innovation Council. Atal ranking of institution and innovation achievements, national innovation and startup policy, and then international hackathon. You see, a smart India hackathon last year we have organized. We are the nodal center. Institute Innovation Council. I think that you in your university it is all uh, already there. You must have formed their IIC and this in I, NISP is also a part of this one. And then Atal ranking. The Atal ranking date is 15th Feb, where you have to submit many data, and it is like a NIRF ranking. So. Securing for any university as a NIRF ranking or a RIR ranking is a very prestigious award. So please, uh, I will request all the uh, stakeholders. Stakeholders means the students, the faculties, the parents. Everybody has got responsibility to make the RIR ranking best for the uh, Tirthankar University, and that's why uh, your your participation is required. More number of enterprises creation, more number of faculties mentoring, more numbers of faculties to come forward. Because the NISP has also got the opportunity, and also giving an opportunity to faculty also, if they want to learn, if they want to establish their own startup, they are they are welcome. And for that, your university has to define the inner policy also. After this NISP, I will request to Dr. Gitanshu put up this NIC NISP policy before your management and seek a management's approval so that you can implement this NISP policy in college or in your university also. Yes, sir. It's very important. And uh, second, uh, you see, uh, for this national innovation policy, which I am going to discuss, and then international hackathon, Asian hackathon is going to be organized. Prime Minister is going to address our India's in India's around 80 students are being participated. Second, also they have launched the Yukti. Uh, those students who have got the very good idea project, they want to uh, change, they can do it. So now I am going to uh, the, uh, cover the third area of NISP. First is about about the HEA. That is a Higher Education Institute Strategies and Governance. for promoting innovation and entrepreneurship so they are talking about the governance and, and under that we have the creating innovation pipeline and pathway for entrepreneurs it means you have to establish a cell also in your campus innovation cell the tinkering lab cell you have the innovation and entrepreneurship cell under that cell you are going to create your students give exposure to your students so that they can start motivating they come forward and meet the faculties they share their own uh, views also what they are looking how they want to start their own startups and for this innovation is required and for creating a innovation you you organize a various innovations competition in your campus uh, this can be anything you can ask your students we have the lot of wastage of papers can't we convert these wastage of papers uh, using uh, using very less number of technology or using any other things or we do something else where we can use uh, the latest technology like industry 4.0 we talk about Like AI, ML, on manufacturing, robotic automations, then reverse engineering, retrofitting, many things we can do it. So for that, we have to uh, you have to develop the innovation pipeline. Means a lot of ideas has to be, and for that you have to create an innovation. You have to create an innovation lab also in your campus. Second, also building an organizational capacity, human resource and incentives. Means uh, you have to take a approval. A approval means from your management. Suppose any faculty is going to mentor. he is mentoring any students giving extra time what else he is going to get it this is very important so you have to put up these all uh, points before your management and seek approval from them so that the faculty must be motivated similarly students if they are putting their time life everything and they are not attending regularly their class what the benefit they are going to get it if they are move, moving towards for the startup setting a startup so this is very important and you have to uh, understand and you have to involve uh, 
uh, uh, if you want to involve the faculty members, you have to seek. I tell you one uh, very live example. Dr. Rajesh Motwani, he was a professor at IIT Kanpur. And uh, long back in 1998, he shifted from India to Stanford University. And there he mentored Larry Page. Larry Page, you must be knowing the owner of uh, Google in 1998. Larry Page was his, incubated his ideas in one incubator at California, that is Silicon Valley. At Silicon Valley, he has been mentored by the, uh, uh, this uh, Dr. Rajesh Motwani. And then he has started their SEO, that is a search engine optimization, Google. And you see, imagine the Google's, Google's total turnover is around just uh, uh, at par with the Indian total uh, budget. Imagine, this is the situation. And everybody loves to join the Dari page. And what happened, being a mentor for that company, the Google, Dr. Rajesh Motwani, has been given a one person, a very nominal share by Larry Page. And that comes around $1,50,000 per month. He is getting a royalty. He is getting an equity share from Larry Page. Means annual ho gaya lakh dollar multiplied by 80 rupees. Imagine how much money Dr. Rajesh Motwani is giving. This is the beauty of startups. If any faculty member want to be a mentor, want to be on their board, want to be anything. So that's why we have to create this one. Uh, building organizational capacity, human resource. Second is norms for faculty and students driven innovation startup. The norms has been decided. Under that, incentivization hai, faculty and students for entrepreneurship hai, and norms for faculty startups also. And also collaborations and co-creation and business relations and knowledge exchange. Because the networking is a very important. And incubation and pre-incubation is space you have to create. It means you have to understand what is pre-incubation, what is incubation, where incubation lies, how we can go. You see, if you talk about the biotechnology expert, they will be talking about the incubation. They know incubator and where the eggs are being hatched is called incubation or a newly born baby is kept in the hospital is called incubation. So incubation and pre-incubation support you have to create in your campus. Again, you have to take permission and seek uh, the approval from your uh, management because they have to mark the space also for incubation. And it requires a art of state building where all facilities like a cubicles, online facilities, net facilities, softwares, hardwares, everything you have to create. 3D printing, then a laser, a laser cutter, uh, not, uh, what you call metallic laser cutter, non-metallic laser cutter, injection molding machine, many softwares and many, many simulation softwares also you have to take it. And then IP ownership, again, you have to work out what is the norms for your IP, like we have created our own IP policy. It has been uploaded on the side. You can see if any, any students come with the idea, either college is supporting them. If the college is giving 100% uh, support for filing any patent, which comes around 60 to 70,000 rupees. Then after, if suppose that idea is going to be commercialized, then the ratio will be 80, 20% means 80% goes to the college and 20% goes to the students. I tell you one example. And you must be knowing when you when you drink any any what you call uh, drink in a, a soft can this can you know the can this can me pite is a tick se khulte hain us can was invented the tick was the opener was invented by a person from USA and when he invented he got the patent also and patent has got the right uh, for for 20 years and the Nestle PepsiCo Coca Cola they approached him kindly transferred this technology to them he denied and he asked them I want only the royalty. And he is charging one cent for each can. Imagine every day how many cans are being opened across the globe. And out of that, he is taking one cent only. One cent means 74 pesa. Imagine if across the globe around 10 million being cans is being opened. Imagine what is the what is the earning of that young person? He has got his own eyeline also. This is the situation. This is the beauty of IP. So IP ownership is very important. Similarly, faculties are coming. Second, also your college goes for the patent filing. Then also the in ARIA ranking, in IF ranking, you can secure good marks. Then pedagogy, you have to work out the what pedagogy and learning is requires intervention. So you have to work out your own how you are going. This is the very important. Last one is the entrepreneurial performance impact. Means you have to see how this is going to impact the society. Society means your college students and faculty. And also to evaluate how beautifully you have implemented this whole policy. Now I'm highlighting the features of the policy. Creation of innovation fund. This is very important. That's why I was saying means if you want to create a uh, innovation setup in your college, you have to at least invest 1% of your total uh, budget means suppose your university's budget is 100 crores for a year means you have to take a permission from your management 
एट लीस्ट वन परसेंट मीन्स वन परसेंट मीन्स वन वन सी आर एट लीस्ट एट करोड़ रुपए उनको ओनली फॉर द इनोवेशन पॉलिसी के लिए रखना पड़ेगा जिसमें वो स्टार्टअप को सपोर्ट देना है स्टार्टअप को सीट फंडिंग देनी है क्रिएशन ऑफ स्ट्रक्चर इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर करना है फैकल्टी को इन्वॉल्व करना है वो सब वन परसेंट में आएगा तो ये आपको देखना पड़ेगा क्या कॉलेज यूनिवर्सिटीज के लिए तैयार नहीं तैयार है सेकेंड एकेडमिक ब्रेक फॉर ए सेमेस्टर इयर्स टू वर्क इन दियर स्टार्टअप क्रेडिट फॉर वर्किंग ऑन इनोवेशन प्रोटाइपिंग बिजनेस एंड डेवलपमेंट ऑल्सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू टेक इक्विटी लाइक कॉलेज कैन टेक इक्विटी इन दियर स्टार्टअप्स लाइक टू परसेंट टू नाइन पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट दिस कैन बी टेक इन क्लियर एंड दिस इज ऑल्सो वेरी गुड बिकॉज एवरी कंपनी दो स्टार्टअप हुआ कमिंग दे हैव टू रजिस्टर दियर कंपनी एज एज ए आर ओ सी दर इज ए प्राइवेट इंड कंपनी और दे हैव टू रजिस्टर देयर कंपनी एल पी बिकॉज इफ यू आर गोइंग ओनली फॉर द प्रोवाइडरशिप यू कैंट गिव द इक्विटी फॉर गिविंग इक्विटी यू हैव टू बी शेयर इज देयर एंड फॉर शेयर यू हैव टू रजिस्टर योर कंपनी इन दैट केस इंस्टीट्यूशन कैन कैन टेक और योर इंक्यूबेटर कैन टेक इक्विटी सपोज एनी एनी कंपनी विच पेड ऑफ कैपिटल इज वन लैख रुपीज एंड कॉस्ट ऑफ ईच शेयर इज वन टेन रुपीज एंड आउट ऑफ दैट अराउंड हंड्रेड वट यू कॉल टेन थाउजेंड टेन थाउजेंड शेयर विल बी देयर एंड आउट ऑफ दैट सपोज यू आर टेकिंग टू परसेंट शेयर एंड दैट टाइम द कॉस्ट इज ओनली टेन रुपीज बट आफ्टर फाइव ईयर सपोज द कॉस्ट बिकम्स द कैपिटल बिकम्स वन थाउजेंड करोड़ imagine the jump the 2% share of a company which you have taken that tirthanti university has taken imagine the 2% ratio this is a beauty of uh, what you call equity service to be offered by institution in lieu of equity fee based or a zero payment okay. this is uh, this is something very important now strategy what is important uh, the major dimensions of achieve is basically to have formulate your own policy also uh, you have to create your mission and vision also so that you can you can see what the mission and vision has been defined for the nisp the entrepreneur agenda you have to design and also one person has to be dedicatedly uh, nominated i think uh, dr anshu uh, somebody must have been nominated by your university as a, as a senior person uh, to head this uh, uh, nisp am i right is anybody okay. dr anshu yes sir Somebody has been nominated by your management as as a as a dean or as a head of the NISP. Not yet, sir. Not ah, yet. So you sir. do it because it is getting late, na. So talk to yes, the vice chancellor and put up a note before him that uh, he must nominate one very senior person who coordinate with the institution, who coordinate with the who may coordinate with the VC also, with the chancellor also, and also with the other institutions. That is okay, very sir. important. You may, must okay, take. Sir. second also intra and internal institutional relation to, to promote ei agenda means every faculty they have to be involved because suppose they require the strong conviction in conviction about yes innovation and entrepreneurship is very important this conviction is required from the faculty it means you have to like uh, today i am giving the exposure but even then after that you have to cognize a capsule program so they must that why entrepreneurship is important what is the beauty of entrepreneurship what is the beauty of innovation and once they have the uh, strong conviction certainly they will pass on this as uh, this uh, message to the students because you have the strong conviction certainly you have the belief and when you have the belief you can you can pass on because uh, teachers are known as a social change agent and you can change the whole scenario also once you have the strong conviction similarly resource mobilization is very important own resources in 1% fund of the total annual budget is required which you have to work out what is your total annual fees which collected that is your total annual budget and out of that you have to work out 1% raising fund from diverse sources like in a, in, a, in a muradabad many big industries are there you talk to them and ask them to share give their share under csr that is called corporate social responsibility you can do it similarly uh, many other organization local organizations government organizations banks are there you connect them ask them to support your activity and they will come forward similarly for incubation fund you can ask to the csr and even for the other activities also you are, you can request to under csr like in your uh, uh, muradabad the big industries are there i think i don't know uh, how many industries are there in the pioneer industries but the good number of industries you don't have idea go and visit the district industry center mr paswan is there as a deputy commissioner you meet him and certainly they will help you out then all hii should be in the institute innovation council network and participate in all events i mean there is lot of things so you have to create IIC, I think you must have created IIC. Visit IIC, complete all the requirements. They have the my activity, then what you call the council, and they have the many folders has been created. So you go and study uh, where you are lacking. Complete the all requirements. This is the creating innovation pipelines and pathway. HI has to ensure the maximum students should participate. So you have to organize your own in campus the hackathon, 
idea thon like these activities you have to develop and on their basis you can you can invite and you see for developing any project from 1 to a to z a to z means the project has the idea only then idea has to be conducted that is called proof of principle means yes this principle is going to be implemented after proof of principle they have to go for the proof of concept after proof of concept they have to again develop iteration is there then they have to develop a prototype after prototype again iteration will be required various uh, data collection is required validation is required and after that they will be developing mvp that is called minimum viable products and basis of mvp uh, they will be developing their own proposal business proposal or what you call uh, business reports and they can submit it to the banks they can submit to the vcs also hi should also link with the collaboration with the incubation like you can collaborate with the us also you have a, if you have the good number of students today i am offering few things to before you we have a good schemes that is called nidhi prayas and one is a nidhi eir under that uh, scheme if you have good number of sc students we have the scheme where we are giving 30000 rupees per month as a scholarship for next one year and that student has to be pass out they must uh, they must uh, what you call possess the degree the btech degree and uh, they must possess the diploma degree they can they can they are entitled to apply in the nidhi uh, eir similarly for prayas if any any students have good idea he or she want to apply for that they have to take a permission from your head of the institution yes they are going to allow them and they they can work like we have a student from jammu and kashmir we have a student from uh, nit uh, nit himachal pradesh that is called uh, uh, what is that place dhamshala dhamshala they are they are basically students are working at my place there is a dedicated place also you visit my website you will see each and everything similarly connected students entrepreneurs in incubate startups so your startups can be connected also very good i tell you during the lockdown we have given around 1200 students internship also through our startups so imagine we have catered each and every problems we have faced very very amicably also in encouraging participation of students in various competitions next then building organization and capacity and human resource how you can do in situ should recruit a staff that have a strong innovation entrepreneurial industry experience i don't know you do have if not kindly uh, kindly recruit somebody who has uh, possessing this uh, competencies this behavioral attitudes and uh, what you call who can foster this ai agenda and culture also it means investment is going to be there and this investment can be taken care from 1% which you have already discussed 1% of your total budget which can be invested only for the ai activities faculty and department of the institute have to work in coherence and cross departmental linkages means and uh, you have the arts wings also you have the science wings also you have the engineering wings also you have the management also so there is a inter link is required every uh, faculties either it is from the uh, science or social or uh, humanities they must understand they must coordinate because entrepreneurship is not it is not related with the only the educational background it is related with the passion related with the attitude related with the own own requirements also uh, how how basically you are passionate to become your own boss whether you want to be your own boss or you want to be a uh, job seeker if you want to be a job seeker certainly you have to run behind again you are going to fight then faculty and staff should be encouraged to do courses many courses are being organized like we are going to organize a program recently we have received a request from central university uh, kumarganj uh, we are organizing a online program and the fdp program for them uh, you can also uh, make a request we can organize a program very nominal charges are there then to retain talent institute should uh, develop academic and non academic incentives also a performance matrix should be developed uh, these are the few uh, uh, building capacity uh, next is uh, collaborations co creations and business relations you have to create you see many industries located in your muradabad you can also approach to the district industry center there is every district has got the odp that is called one district one product kindly go and connect with the odp they have the very good schemes under that that is called cfc common facility center you talk them good amount of money 15 crores they are giving to establish a cfc in a collaboration with the local industries being a academic institutions you can take a lead also discuss with your uh, management if you find any problem connect me i will guide them and certainly they can establish uh, what you call cfc there is a common facility center uh, can be created like we are creating in our campus also knowledge exchange through collaborations like we are today we are doing mechanism should be devised by the institute to ensure maximum cooperation then knowledge development should be done by the institute through development of innovation knowledge platforms using ict capabilities respiratory of respiratory of uh, ideas pocs you know you have to create a list of ideas also list of ideas 
then uh, norms for faculty you see it is very well elaborated what the incentive you see for everything we required the incentive like the newly born babies also required incentive everybody requires incentive that incentive allows student to set up a startup social or a tech you know working part time for the startup while studying it means you have to create you have to earmark a place also where they can work second allowing student to earn credit suppose they are part time they are doing or a full time they are doing they must be given a chance to earn a credit for working in innovation because they are doing different with the normal students because they have taken risk they have they are putting their own life for the this startup it means they should be given a uh, extra uh, what you call marks also extra credit uh, in in their academic uh, uh, norms also the student innovators entrepreneurs may allowed to opt for startups in place mini projects you have you must organize engineering back in this branch you organize a mini projects and project projects ask them they must participate all the students in terms of take a semester break year break to work on their startup is there anybody it means you have to create your norms in house because you are the uh, independent university so you can work out these norms if any students want to work out suppose he is in a second year of btech and he or she want to break for a one year you allow them to go for a break and after doing a one year suppose he she or she failed uh, she must be given a chance to again join uh, with all credit what what the credit i talked about the credit also allowing students entrepreneurs innovators to sit for the maximum and then allowing students entrepreneurs to use the address hostels also suppose they are uh, they are going for the incubation if they want to register their company uh, they required the address also it means your college has to allow uh, to use their uh, uh, college uh, address also next and also incentive for faculties also allowing faculty to start up uh, based on the technology suppose your faculty is very good in ai ml or a blockchain or any other area reverse engineering they must they can be given a chance they can go they can they can join any startups as a, as a mentor on their board also they must be given a semester break as a year as a sabbatical leave unpaid leave or a casual leave or a un leave for working on a startups and come back no restrictions on share that staff and faculty and similarly i talked about the 2% to uh, 9.5% next then non for faculty startups you can see role of faculty while teaching may be as a owner founder co-founder director promoters advisor mentors this can role this 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 uh, activity role can be uh, taken care it can be opted by the faculty or he or she can be a ceo of his own company but for that they must be given a chance uh, for on leave because their 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 job must be secured and for one year they can they can jump into this arena where they can work they can develop their own enterprise suppose they successfully run they can leave the job if they, they are unable to uh, uh, create their this startup because failure is there never take you see na hame sharm honi chahiye effort na karne ki fail hone pe hame sharm nahi honi chahiye this is my i think i like that in case selection or exploration or incubation may be subsequent leave faculty must be involved research also so in college in your university you must be taking many things uh, what you call uh, 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 research work is going to be in your campus, so uh, try to uh, try to create. <coughs> ah, yes, this one. Now I'm coming to next. Uh, this is incubation and pre-incubation. Uh, you have to create incubation where you have to form a separate company. Means your incubator is going to be registered as a SPV. That is called Section Eight company. SPV is known as a special purpose vehicle. and your incubation center has to be registered this can be a society also so separate entity will be required like in our campus our technology business incubator is a separate entity it has got separate board separate fund everything is separate now it is a self supportive also similarly pre incubation incubation support requires promotion entity by technology commercialization it means you have to connect with the some attorney like we have a sign an attorney uh, he is charging very less because we have negotiated i don't know do you you must have a some uh, attorney but we have sr4 uh, ipr the very good attorney they have and very small very very nominal charges they are taking uh, allow kar do admit kar do they are taking very uh, little amount uh, very uh, competitive to others you can you can connect with them similarly facilities should be given to 24 into 7 students they want to work all faculty and many infrastructures you have to create and then uh, then uh, ip ownership i talked about you have to see the ip ownership also how you work it means you have to work out your own ip policy in your campus where uh, where uh, your uh, what you call uh, faculties or students who are coming so in ip policy this intellectual property right 
uh, this can be copyright this can be patent this can be design thinking for that uh, in uh, they have to understand the your in house of ip policy for your in house in house ip policy you have to frame your ip policy under that the two or three area the three area norms can be created like one if the faculty is uh, filing his own patent in his own name taking only permission there will be no restriction no legality will be there suppose a faculty is going to uh, faculty is going to uh, taking it taking a support uh, from college uh, for 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 uh, from the university to uh, to file a patent because filing cost something and he is not an, he is unable to submit uh, fee also in that case you have to create own norms or second third maybe where 50% is going to be borne by the faculty and 50% by the university this this can be also created uh, you have to see and uh, next uh, you have to uh, this is a uh, ip ownership <clears throat> then pedagogy you have to work out the pedagogy and learning intervention uh, that is very important uh, ip ownership i discuss about then pedagogy learning you have to create your own like uh, government of india has also launched a very good program pgdm in innovation entrepreneurship and venture development you can apply to the aict but yet it has been not getting a very uh, move very fast but it has got to you work out your own in house program like we have work out your own program online programs then short duration programs and it has got the credit programs you have to work out and for that accordingly you can run uh, this uh, program then uh, this entrepreneur performance impact you have to see uh, how you are going to facilitate like a performance analysis of service and facilities on regular basis development of key performance you have to work out your indicators and focus on input process outputs outcome and impact level like we have work out your own if you visit our website you will see our own policy is there you can see and you can work out for that these are the all about this uh, nic policy and this uh, you can download this information is given on your side and that one this is uh, i must extend my thanks to everyone for listening uh, me patiently if you have any question you can ask me Thank you, sir, for such a delightful and engaging session. I'm sure this information you, is going to pay a uh, paver pathway for the young minds. And also, sir, thank you for the guidance and how we can take things forward. You told us really nicely. So big thanks for that.